And now that we're back from the break, our next story is about the heartbeat of applications. Here on the show, we have Bob, our resident cybersecurity expert to explain. Thanks for coming on the show, Bob. Thanks for having me. And I just want to clarify, by heartbeat, you mean Pangea's secure audit log service, right? Yeah, but uh, that didn't sound as catchy. So our writers were suggesting- well, if your writer suggested that audit logs are like the heartbeat of an application, they're wrong. Audit logs continue to provide information long after your application flatlines. Let's take this for example. You're in charge of getting your friend to their wedding in LA on Sunday, but you've lost them somewhere in Vegas on Friday. You don't even know where your friend is. They could be on the roof of the hotel for all you know. Audit logging your activities would have provided a clear clue as to where they were, even with that raging headache. Right. Um, there's a limit, right? Not all things can be recorded in the log. All important things are recorded in the log. If you get married to someone you just met that night and adopted their baby, that should be put in your audit life log. Um, could you give me a more helpful example, like maybe one for a software developer? I guess, but that's just way less fun. You should log authentication successes and failures to make sure users can access your site. Denied requests along with error codes or messages to catalog who or what is failing should also be logged. Major events and failures, like enabling a service or a feature, should be logged. High-risk events, like a transaction or sending of sensitive data, or maybe, you know, even updating your profile picture, should be logged. Validation failures should be logged. Like, for example, if someone tries to use your credit card to buy a tiger and it gets denied. Okay, um, so I guess you should log everything then? Well, actually, no. You shouldn't log personally identifiable information, like phone numbers, or anything like that. Or back to my more fun example, you probably shouldn't log the social security numbers of the wife you marry and the kid you adopt. People don't like it when you do that. No, uh, no they don't. Um, so do you have any suggestions for keeping that sensitive data secure and not having it be in the logs? Of course. Just add Pangea's redaction rules to remove any sensitive information and make sure your logs are still immutable. Hmm. Keeping track of all of the different events that you need to log seems like a lot of work. Uh, what information exactly needs to go into each log? And could we please go back to the developer example? A single log input is generally called a log event. It needs timestamps, parties, locations, details of what occurred, details of the user action, the result of the action, and the reason for the results. Any additional relevant context that an application developer wants to put is up to them. And of course, they can include it if needed. The set of fields put together is called a schema, and it can vary depending on what you need to use the logs for. If something unexpected happens and you need to track exactly what has been committed to the system, we can diagnose and figure out with the help of our audit logs. Got it. So each business should be creating a custom schema to suit their needs, right? Exactly. So if you needed a schema to keep track of your friend in Vegas, you probably want to know timestamp, beverage count, beverage choice, room location, hotel location, and their intentions, like whether they want to buy a tiger in a dump. Right. Uh, okay. Thanks so much for uh, coming on the show today. If you'd like more information about secure audit logs and how Pangea can help, uh, check out their website, pangea.cloud, and join their community Slack channel where their team of builders can't wait to hear from you and see what you build next. I mean, the Wi-Fi is not as good down here as it is when I'm plugged directly into my 800 meg down. <laughs> Everything's better on my desktop. I'm just saying. <laughs> And now that we're back from the break, our next story is about the heartbeat of applications. Here on the show, we have Bob, our resident cybersecurity expert to explain. 